Yes, there is, podcast. Ernie's out here cripping it. We're... Wow. <laughs> You're in all blue. Oh, snap. It's but a, I'm spelling blood. <laughs> and this is a... What is it? What's this? You're wearing That's blood shirt. or something. You got blue beanie on. on my shirt. Oh, and I got... No one's got... Oh, you got green. You don't get pinched. I'll be checking for that. That's yep, the that's the blood sign. And then Crip is just this? I think so. We out here cripping. All gangbangers are stupid because they play with their fingers like that. That's just stupid. They're practicing, you know, fa- fingering their girlfriends. I don't Remember know. Remember elementary school when uh, kids would walk up to you and ask uh, red or blue or west side or east side? Yeah, I think so. I think West side, baby. <laughs> and you would just say one. Ah, uh, west. <laughs> Why? Biggie, Biggie's from the east. Ah. <laughs> I was about to be like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, we didn't know any better. Do we know? We now say it, and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, you're cool, man." And if not, what, what would they do? If you're they saying the wrong you, thing, they're like, "Get out of here! This is our turf." Yeah, like sharks in the jets. They're just yeah. like, dancing at you. Uh, lots going on, man. Is it? After- is there a lot going on? Right? Yeah. Is a war? There's two wars? I don't want to talk about wars. <laughs> war. War never changes. Wars. Hey, Fallout. I did watch that earlier. I haven't seen the trailer yet. Is it good? <laughs> Looks good. It's from really the new good. game. I don't... No, it's I for the show, the right? It's a yeah, show, it's a right? Show. No. I, I linked it to you to give you ideas earlier okay. today. You know what? You? You know, we're going to take a pause right now because I'm going to go watch this real quick. I already can cut this out in post, right? Yeah, I guess. I gotta I edit. Guess. I gotta edit these anyways. So I'm gonna edit these in case Ernie says slur. Life, life is full of it. I I don't. This podcast today is brought to you by Liquid IV. Do you um, know what Liquid IV is? I don't. I've what is it? it? It's a uh, so it's like a. <laughs> we're trying to do We're actually legit. I'm like about to explain. trying to do that purposely. It's like like yeah. What is it? It's like a what are those like uh, Lipton packets, right? Like oh, they're yeah. just like you just mix them with water, but this is like it's I all have, salt I and electrolytes. It's just like a way that. to help you hydrate if you're like hungover or just really dehydrated. It's just a way to help that liquid get into your system um hmm. i mean i've been drinking water for years but i'll i'll give it a try <laughs> they're actually really good i have are you being for real i'm joking okay. i know i was about to be like i, I have extra if you want to leave I you one. to a lot of podcasts i know but you're just how you did i've been drinking water for years but i'll give it a try so like bendy that's the podcast i haven't seen it's like the guys that are like no this is like it's like freddie fazbear but more intense oh so like bendy yeah like bendy logan always yells something freddie best is that you i don't know what's wrong i can't do the i can't do the theme what's the uh, i can't do it i don't know the theme. i don't know what you're talking about the freddie fazbear Fred. i don't know what that is how about we get to the fallout so we could get out <laughs> the part that i was the gonna fallout. call out yeah, well, I'm the type of guy who never ran. I don't know. I'm never in a place. Fallout, no mercy. No. Oh, Mike, what's where's that music coming from? It's me, Margaret. Is it Jamie Lee Curtis? What are you talking about? I don't know. The frozen picture of the teaser chair looks like Jamie Lee Curtis. No, it's not. Rat roaches. <laughs> I know what those are. I thought I saw Robert Downey Jr. In the <laughs> they, they they plug Todd Howard. Wait, so this is the the <laughs> video game, the game with the little like finger yeah. guy. Yeah, the Fall Boy. They're all dressed like him. Yeah, that's the dude. You clearly have not played Fallout before. Murder yeah. Birds. I've never played it. The Brotherhood. Dog meat. Power armor. Studio oh shit, ghouls. I don't see no ghoul. Ghoul? There's a second left in the video. Let me see if there's any ghouls. No ghouls. No that guy's one eye. Is this cyborg in it? No. Oh shit, a Yagwai. <laughs> you making up words over there? <laughs> <laughs> I like this song. Whoa, that guy looks like a red skull. Fall out. Yeah, that's a ghoul, by the way. Oh, that's a a ghoul? That's a ghoul. Ghoul? Fallout has, like, some of the best music, because they use real music. 
That girl has really big eyes. I don't want to set the world on fire. This looks odd. I don't really get a good vibe of what the show's going to be like from the trailer. All right, so are, you, are you watching TikToks right now? I don't know what I'm listening to. Oh, that's not me. It's El- it's Elmo. I guess that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's not coming from me. <laughs> we watched the Fallout trailer. Not I'm impressed. No, I, I never play the game, so I, mean, I love the games, but it doesn't. The show does the 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 trailer doesn't give me a vibe of what the show's gonna it's be. The producer like. of the boys. That could mean literally anything. I know. There's like 15 that's producers. That. Todd Howard's giving a fucking credit. I don't know who that is. It's the guy. It's the CEO. It's the, one of the founding members of Bethesda. The mm. people who make Speaking Skyrim and which. Elder Scrolls games and Fallout games. Doom, 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 doom. And I'll make uh, Doom. Bob we I- need another Doom movie. Bob Iger. Not the Rock Doom? No. <laughs> Fuck no. We need like a silent pro tag. I like the end of the doom movie, movie when it goes in the FPS mode. I don't remember the movie at all. It's bad. I'm glad. It is really bad. It's really dark, right? That's a, it's the only thing I remember about that movie is like I'm like half the time I'm like, what is what is that? It's got filters on. It's just dark. But did you see uh Bob Iger said that the all the directors and stuff under Disney or people making movies they're losing they're too busy trying to get the messages over in their movies what is the fuck does that mean and they're not he's blaming all their money losses because right now they've been losing wokeism i think so but he said they need to focus fucking woke bastards they need to focus on entertainment not a message okay whatever bob Iger. you think you think fucking don Cheadle and uh what's his name look exactly the same he's just saying this who's the guy he was he was out for the past terrence ever yeah, the guy who originally played him. Mm-hmm. Bob Iger has this like, famous point where he's like, yeah, we can like, we'll just get someone else, you know? We get Don Cheadle. He looks just like him, right? Yeah. Right? Right? Because all black people look the same, right, Ryan? <laughs> Ryan's not going to argue that. Does that count for light-skinned black people as well? Yeah, what? you like a thirsty-ass light skin or something like that. You like making thirst posts. Re- regardless, like <laughs> regardless, do you think that <laughs> all the Di- all the Disney shit coming out, Marvel, Disney, whatever, that's supposedly failing. Are they focused Allegedly. on the message? I, I'll tell you one thing, and I know we're gonna get into the Marvels. Uh, Marvels did not feel like any message at all, at all. Doctor Who felt a little bit like it. Yeah, but that's not. <laughs> That's like not even in the same realm. It's on Disney Plus. Is it? Oh, I'm like, what are you? Is talking Doctor about? Who now owned by Disney? Um, do they own in- BBC? The BBC? I, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Regardless, so it's on Disney Plus. They rebooted it for Disney Plus, but they're, they? they're not adding any of the previous seasons. That's they're, so. Uh, wait, 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 they're wait, starting wait. it off with the new Doctor. Like they're like rebooting the entirety of Doctor Who, yeah. or they're well, just. Well, he's regenerating. Okay. But on Disney Plus, they're only going to have the specials and then the current or the upcoming Doctor. Okay, but they're still allowed to make like references to the old stuff, right? Past, yeah, it's yeah, they just connected. did today. Okay, 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 okay. But I don't like Doctor Who. So the the, no experience the last that. star, the the first one with David Tennant, they just did. Um, there was an actress that was male first, so binary, non-binary. Is that non-binary? <laughs> Binary would right. Am I saying the right thing? Why are you laughing? She, she's just trans. She's just trans. Okay, okay. So, so she identifies as a, a girl, woman. Now. Huh? She identifies as a woman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so she would be a woman. Yeah. So people, like, like me at first, I was like, "Wait, why are we doing this? Are they doing?" Because sometimes I worry. Show- wait, 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 wait. Is is the actor trans the actor or the character trans? trans? Both. Both. Okay. Uh, I thought, uh, but in the story, they explained it that well, first, the first, blah, 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 hold on, <laughs> first. I, I don't know if you're, you should be the one speaking about this topic. It seems like a relatively sensitive topic that, like, I don't know if Ernie is prepared to. First, do <laughs> I was kind of, like, pulled back because I'm like, are they doing this for the outrage if people are going to get mad or people get happy? Because I always don't know. Some videos or some movies, TV shows do it 
to the even fact get that you would imply that people would would include trans actors into something because of quote end quote outrage is kind I don't, of I fucked. Don't, <laughs> I don't know what how these shows or movies maybe, are thinking about. Maybe the the act the actress just deserved the role. Yeah, well, and they was, included it was her life experiences in the role. It was written for. And maybe it wasn't because they that, were just like, the let's role, fucking trigger a bunch of right wingers. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is, Doctor Who's not really appealing. I feel like to right wingers, it's more. I don't know. I I genuinely don't know. I don't have any. I but don't know if it, it's like but, a show like, that Ryan, has a Ryan's historical gonna explain, liberal. Ryan's going to explain it. That it made sense why she. Okay, Ryan, was go ahead and explain. Was. Spotlight's on you. Oh, so when she reveals. Um, I'm trying to think of Donna? what what happens at the end. Yeah, Donna explains to the doctor that she was having a hard time when her daughter transitioned. But it was because when Donna had her child I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh. at the end of <laughs> Doctor Who's season with Donna, Donna also became part time lord. She absorbed a bunch of his energy and became Doctor Donna. And she transferred that energy into her child. So the child also had male. Gallifreyan male. doctor energy. And the doctor, when he regenerates, he can turn into male or female. Sure. So when the baby was born, she was having a hard time figuring out who she was mm-hmm. when she was born as male. And then transitioned into a girl and then chose the name Rose. I don't know if that I came know, from the doctor. Hmm. Um, but it was kind of cool, it, like how that tied all in. But then I was like, I shouldn't feel like, oh, that's it cool. It gave an explanation I, why she's binary. I don't know. To me, it's not binary. Trans. I'm sorry, trans. <sighs> What's binary? So binary. Because D- Donna to. yells out binary. Stop! 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 She says Let that me expl- in the old episode. Uh, Let me explain this real quick. So the term binary, and regard regardless of any other connotation, wow. refers to two. So binary stars are two stars that are rotating in each other's orbit. Non-binary means you don't conform to the idea of the fact that there are two genders. You're sort of in the middle. Sometimes you feel more boyish sometimes you feel more girlish but you're not like classified as a man or a woman trans is somebody who was born one gender who identifies with a different gender and they transition to that different gender non-binary is somebody who doesn't they would they won't necessarily go through any surgery or anything they just dress present act very in the middle of these sort of quote unquote socialized gender roles gender fluid yeah well gender fluid is different Non-binary is specifically in the middle. Gender fluid is somebody who can ebb and flow. Some days they're they are more female presenting. Some days they're more male presenting. Um, so when you refer to somebody who's like, oh, I don't have a gender, they'd be non-binary. They'd be not participating in the two gender system but we have. For me, I was thinking that is kind of like maybe a message, like you know, casting that. I don't know. Well, I mean, the next but doctor... But it was still entertaining. The next doctor we're getting is a gay male. And... And he's black. He's most... If you notice in the episode, the doctor... Donna was talking about... Um, he thinks she's always felt like the doctor was gay? No, 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 no. She... She... Who was at the beginning of Why the does the doctor have to have sex with anybody, though? I get, like, the gender identity thing. But, oh, like, he's, a, uh, he's an alien. Uh, yeah, he's not even an alien. Uh, he's, like, a fucking fourth Isaac Newton. Thing. When Yeah, he's like, how hot he was. He was, yeah, he was yeah, hot. Yeah, they were both talking she's about like, how hot. And he it, says, I, I don't remember thinking like that. And then she's like, oh, wow. So, because he, he's already starting to regenerate. Mm-hmm. So out. I'm thinking they're going to make him gay. Isaac Newton was, like, 110% inbred. He used to stick, like... Fucking mercury in his eyes to cure the demons Wibbly in his brain. Wobbly, tiny one. <laughs> they do what they want. Uh, That's they, why I don't like Doctor Who because they just do whatever they want. They can just like butcher history in every capacity possible. It's it. The show's just like when I watch it, it's, it's pushing just a like fucking liberal and being a kid woke and just man. letting the imagination go wild, and they just take you on a ride. It, that's why I think with Loki, I enjoyed Loki so much is because 
I feel it's inspired a lot by Doctor oh, Who. Oh, yeah, it's super Doctor Who. Even the it, theme song. Yeah, and, and even this season was fucking super Doctor Who. We even got to talk about Loki yet. Well, he becomes a literal Time Lord. Does Loki, was he sending messages, or is he just entertainment? Because I don't feel like anything was going what on. What would the message of Loki Yeah, I don't there know is a, I don't. This is what Bob Iger said, that everyone's... They're losing money because... Well, Bob, once again, Bob Iger is a stupid racist. SOB? Sure. But like like I said, this guy thought Terrence Howard and Don Cheadle look the exact same. Yeah, never That's been. not racist. I don't know what is anymore. I mean, yes. I don't care about Bob Iger's Wait, opinion. Did, did he comment on that? You didn't? Yeah. So he literally was like, yeah, we'll just recast War Machine because we'll just get some other actor who looks just like him and nobody will notice. Yeah. He's just a variant. Was Bob Iger, Bob Iger was there? I'm going to subscribe Bob Iger being racist. That's my opinion. Dude, you can come I up with your own in universe explanation. Just I'm just saying now he's just a variant. But they I'm pretty sure for it now. he's Iron, just racist. I, Iron Man 2. Uh, was he there for Iron Man 2? No. Yeah. Then why would you talk about Wait, Bob something? Iger? Yeah. Yes, he was. I thought you meant Don. I thought you meant uh, Terrence Howard. It's like no, it's Don Cheadle at that point, right? Yeah, Don Cheadle was great yeah. in it too. But Loki, far as thoughts on Loki, um, he's the time gem. It was a little bit slower, I think, than the first one. It was more. I, I was actually say liked this season, but it, more. It, but it wasn't really thought provoking. It was very throw scientific words out there and a temporal loom make it sound like it's smart. But I it liked, was fun. I liked Obi. Right, Ouroboros. Ouroboros. I liked him. He was a good like Victor uh, Timely. He was a good Victor Timely. Was interesting. Victor Timely. But what? That's happened, what Kang does when he talks to Loki. Is he mm-hmm. does an impersonation of Victor Timely. The one of the best things that happened was recreating the scene where yeah, he yeah, yeah. where he got to that talk whole to him. sequence where Loki's jumping through different like time trying to fucking. It's kind of sad because he's kind of telling everybody bye in a way. Well, yeah, he can't yeah, yeah. ever see anyone ever again. Yeah, now he's the one. He, he gave up everything. Do you, you notice how it's a tree at the end? Like Yggdrasil? Well, the, yeah. The tree? It's the tree of love. <laughs> World tree. Yeah. 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 But at the beginning of the series, he talked to... Um, what's her name? Sylvie? Sylvie. And he... She's working at McDonald's? Yeah. He said he didn't want to be alone. And at the end of the show, he fuck you, Ryan. Why'd you have to yawn? <laughs> he became alone. I know it's sad, but that's the whole thing. He that says, was, he like comes to terms. He with says it. that to Odin too, when he's about to fall. Doesn't he say that? I don't want to be alone. Probably. I swear he says something like that. It's oh maybe that's when Thor's trying to. Oh, I don't know. When his eyes bleed as he's falling out into space, and people say that there could be a third season, but I was like, how? This ended like. The Loki story, unless there's another variant, but I don't know. People kind of the Mobius story too. I mean, right? we'll probably see young Loki, kid Loki. I don't think so. That version specifically, because that actor's probably like 47 now. Yeah, he's not, <laughs> I don't think he's 47, but <laughs> but he's probably significantly older than they when they originally shot that. Older teen is kind of where we're heading right now. Haley Steinfeld's like in her late 20s, so. She's in her late twenties, isn't she? I don't know. Who is the Sylvia? Hawkeye girl? Hawkeye girl? Yeah, no. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I think she's like twenty five. Is my guess. Look, I can barely spell her name, and it pops up. What does Thor do, do at the end of Love and Thunder? Where does he go? She's oh, he's just chilling out with the late twenties. That's oh, reaching. That's after halfway. Wait, what did you say? She's twenty six. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. Well, so that's what Miss Marvel, the Marvels, Loki, whatever. Loki was really good. I thought Loki. It was weird. I thought it was going to be more than six episodes, but it was fitting. Also, no after credit scenes through the whole season. I wish it connected to all these things, all these multiverses, all these. Doctor, like a multiverse of uh, madness, madness, where Doctor Strange ripped a hole. Or Clea rips a hole and goes, I need your help with this third eye. And Spider-Man, where we saw all these people breaking through. And 
all this shit. I just don't get why we didn't get any connection to any of that. Because we that also was. just got out of a actor strike. And I don't writer care. Strike. I don't care. But anyways, then you go see. The, <laughs> then you go see the Marvels, and everybody hated the Marvels. It, Bernie's a consumer. He only cares about the content he consumes. He doesn't care about how it's created or at what cost it's nope. created at. It flopped horribly. They said it didn't do that bad. People said it did bad, but they said like technically like it still made money and they're fine. But it's one of the lowest money makers. It um, cannot be worse than um I can't even remember the name of it now. Dark World? No, I no, watched no. Love and Thunder two weeks ago and it was fun. The worst Marvel movie is the it's, um, what are they called? It's Eternals. Eternals, yes, that's the worst. It's one. hard to talk to anyone about Marvel without them thinking you have a super bias. But I'm super. Eternals is not bad. Yes, it but, is. But it's I'm the. I'm the I'll kind of, fight you. Like gonna, physically fight you. About I'll rewatch it. that. This it's weekend. so fucking boring. The villains are nonsensical, boring ass, whatever. None of the characters are all that interesting. They're all really whiny for no fucking reason, and the, sh- the whole movie is trying to be way deeper than it actually is. It's like a Zack Snyder movie. Yeah, I don't think Zack Snyder makes very good movies. Oh, I didn't say that either. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If it's like a Zack Snyder movie, then that's not a commendation and positive. That's a uh, Zack Snyder's best movie is probably 300 because it's his shortest film. What about Watchmen? I like Dawn of the Dead. It's better than Watchmen. Watchmen doesn't do it for me. Watchmen's it, just the comic. It's a frame by frame of the comic. Yeah, it's just the comic. So is the comic bad? No, I don't think that doesn't make Zack Snyder's interpretation. I don't think the comic's that good. I think Alan Moore is one of the most overrated. He's writers. bitter. He's bitter. Alan Moore's fucking a bitter. He's a crazy ass, ass fucking wizard. He is a wizard, yeah, is. actually. Yeah. But I don't. I don't think he's that great of a writer. People would fucking come after me, and I don't give a fuck if they did, because I just don't. I think he's overrated. There's a lot of people I think they're overrated, and he's one of them. I think Frank Miller's overrated. So you know, he's sick. the reason why Marvel uses six one six. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> that's the real sign of the devil. Uh, mm, what? No, the real sign of the devil is. What is it? It's, I think it's four 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 because the six 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 is the beast, but um, I don't think there's a one in there because the angel numbers that are only pairs of three. They're like one 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 two 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 three 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 four four. And the, Ernie's looking it up. Right? And the holy number <laughs> is the holy number is three 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 six 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 and nine nine nine. No, no, three 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 and nine nine nine. I think um, it uh, it originated from uh, the Bible. Uh, it's he, the angel number. He added it for. Oh, it's no it's sixty-one, sixty-one. Captain Britain, huh? Um, Britain corpse. But seeing six one six one is symbolic of how the devil is constantly testing us. Oh, okay. I don't understand angel numbers. To be fair, so. Um, but what? I don't know. What's your favorite comic book of all time? Graphic novel, whatever. Like a My thing favorite. I could adapt to a movie. But it's kind of um cool. one of my favorites. Watch out! I'm gonna grab water. My balls, which is <laughs> my legs. Rumored to be made is Triumph and Torment. So what if I made a a shot by shot version of that? That was as good as a comic. Does that mean I'm a good director, or does that mean that the source material is good? It's my argument. Watchmen is that just because he made a a version of Watchmen that's like the comic and I like the comic does not make Zack Snyder a good director. He just copied something else. Like 300 was a lot harder to copy because of the way the art style was fucking done and it's a lot more weird. Well, but 300 is just so... Was it such a clip so as compared every, to the rest of his movies? Pretty you much every it. Marvel movie right now is directed by a director but they're also under strict Marvel rule sure that's why i necessarily wouldn't classify any of them as all-time great movies would you say that watchmen doesn't look like a uh zack snyder movie it does but and but, follows the comic book but watchmen looks like a zack snyder comic book they're like it's almost like you took alan moore's writing and and i don't even know if he does he doesn't do the art right does he do the art for watchmen I don't know. I don't think. What the fuck was that? Logan's uh, oh. headset came on. <laughs> I was like, is somebody revving a car in here? Is like, it's like they they cre- they were created in separate universes and they came together as I like. Mean, oh, I, this just I makes sense. I wouldn't say you, the you, movie looks like the art. You still have to give it up to the actors. In it, I'm though. pretty the sure actors, you could find like several 
shots in the movie that are just the they're, panel. They're pretty regardless generic that they, drawings. But regardless, they went like how I don't want it. I do. I, I want to be a little surprised, like Walking Dead, but they didn't do that. But besides, the ending got changed. But you have to give the actors. Yeah, because you can't sell due. an octopus in Hollywood. <laughs> the actors, but did their job though. Everyone did good. I think as a character, everybody looked. But the do I plays the comedian? Looks like the comedian in the comic book. But books. do I Manhattan like? Manhattan looks like Doctor Manhattan. But do I like Watchmen really? No, because it kind of bores me. People are gonna fucking. They heard that would come after me okay. again. I don't like political bullshit. So, really in my comics i want kate oh i'm so f- i'm, I'm so kate. glad you live in this fantasy world where politics doesn't affect you but for some people you know around the world it does affect them if okay, we're I, upset if we're at... reading if i'm reading a comic i like to see oh i like to live girls. in my perfect little universe where nothing else affects me and all these people mm, that are dying in israel so my, and all people dying in ukraine <laughs> don't actually example exist is, if we're saying that copying the comic panel for panel, panel, panel isn't good no, it doesn't it doesn't delineate a good director. That doesn't make his film better because he's not doing anything. He's just copying some other pre-existing work, like like straight up, not would, just like would influence. Would you have rather him deviate and do his own thing? It, if if he deviated and did his own thing and it was a good movie, I would give him more credit. But the fact that it's an okay movie based directly and almost shot for shot with the comic does not make does not make a good director just because he's like yeah look i can take this source material and directly translate it over so, it's like look at peter jackson right peter jackson did the lord of the rings movies but those aren't direct pulls from the m- books right there are different I've never read them, so I don't know. <laughs> there are different creative licenses taken with the movie that make the movie better same with jurassic park jurassic park is, is a book but in the movie ian malcolm doesn't die in the book ian malcolm dies uh in the movie uh what's his name john uh john hammond john hammond uh, doesn't die in the book. He does die. These but are do different you, liberties. Do you like it or do you I like them both it? separately? But because they are different, I can look at Spielberg and be like, Spielberg did a really good job directing this movie because he didn't just rip off the book. This he made a conversation ties into other things too, like what, like uh, Scott Pilgrim. But we'll get to that in a second. I have no um, interest in it. I'm sorry. I'll watch the movie, but I have no interest in the TV show. I feel like they set us up hard on the Scott Pilgrim show. Oh, I got. I was like, oh, what? Because they say... Do they lie? Do they lie? Okay. So it is just the comic book? Huh? How do they not lie? Is it the comic book? No. Okay. The first episode is. And then it goes off into... Scott Pilgrim, I think, isn't even in it. He is. I remember me and you texting each other, and I was like, I I haven't seen Scott Pilgrim in a couple episodes already. And it's crazy. It focuses on... Everyone's in it. I wish I could bring up another show, but you've never watched it before, so it makes sense. There's a book called The Magicians. Oh. And... That's a TV show as well, right? Yes. But the book is a different timeline than the TV show. And Mm. in the TV show, it's explained that there's multiple timelines where they try to do a certain thing, but they always end up dying. The Magicians? Why does that sound familiar? There's a multiverse. It was a sci-fi show. Yeah, that's... I'm starting to think I might have watched this. This um, is the one about the, not Warehouse 13. It's a whole different thing. But they like have like a library or something. Or I mean, there's libraries in the show. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Magic. I mean, Saved by the Bell has a library, all right. You always get like a static from the phone. Yeah, it sounds like uh, asteroids are like a old yeah eight bit. Yeah. But I was gonna bring up um, before we get back to Scott Pilgrim. Um, Secret Invasion, which doesn't follow the comic book at all. Yeah, that's um, another thing. I mean, the director probably wasn't bad. That like, was the episodes the, were were okay. Wait, for I, what? But the the Secret whole invasion. the last episode no. just completely drops the ball. No, dude, that whole show's fucking garbage. I stopped after the second episode. Dude, that whole show. And I'm a big person that garbage. says watch at least the first three. But I knew where it was going. I watched it weekly just to just to prove to myself how garbage it would be. I, I, I was tried, like, oh, I, I didn't think, like this episode. I think but. it's because again, I'm more of a superhero guy. I want the superheroes in a secret I, invasion story. I wanted the comic. I if just wanted to be good. If it would have followed the comic panel by panel, I would have been so excited. Well, yeah, because we would have got all kinds of weird shit. Like the comic is ridiculously good, but I think you could adapt it way better than what they did they did an espionage trying to do winter soldier without having 
the good characters. Yeah, with having 50-year-old, not even 50-year-old, 97 million-year-old Samuel L. Jackson trying to be a badass. And then some rant. Hey, he did okay in the Marvels. Yeah, the Marvels. Sitting he was down. Great. He was. He sat down a lot, though. Yeah, I, I, to this day, I will. One of my least favorite parts about the Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel running? movie, is him being an old man. Dude, he's running. an old dude, man. <laughs> yeah, is but it, like, isn't he like eighty. Yes, but they CGI him young, and they expect you to believe that a young man runs like an old. That was pretty like believable. Old. No, it was not. <laughs> I didn't question it. Oh, I spent the whole movie I'm being stuck. like, why I'm, I'm watching, is he I'm like watching this? the movie. The only time I ever watched I caught myself was Machete. Machete. And they would take someone out to play him mm. when he ran and stuff. And that <laughs> made me really go like, oh, like, oh. That's... Is that the first sign you're old? Running? No longer being able to run properly? Possibly. I just feel like it happens to everybody. Or just time. getting up and being winded by getting up. <laughs> well, that could be a... F- oh, a... F- Weight thing. I was gonna say a fat thing, but I was like, "That's rude." <laughs> it's the weight thing's the same thing. Yeah, but if I say fat, look, look, look fat. I showed you that video of Joe Biden calling that guy fat, right? L- l- listen, fat. He wanted to call him a fat ass, but he didn't say fat yeah. ass. He's like, look, listen, fat. Listen, fat. I seen Joe Biden saying that you Joe can't Budden. go Seven Eleven unless you're a little bit Indian. Joe Biden says whack ass shit. This doesn't is, mean this I'm gonna back vote. in the day. Doesn't mean I'm gonna vote for Trump over him. No, true. <laughs> True that. If Biden's show- the only other, I, I'm not like we're a, showing our colors here. I'm not a vote blue kind of guy. I'm not a vote blue no matter who, but to vote anybody other than Trump, no matter what. But anyway, Samuel so Jackson is very well. What? So that rhyme very well. Yeah, that's what they. That's what the whole thing is. Uh, what is it? No matter who vote blue or whatever to beat Trump, and I'm like, I don't really subscribe to that belief, but like, I also don't want to vote for Donald Trump. Like, I want to vote for the guy that's going to beat Donald Trump. I do miss no way SNL he's skits, worse. But- Assassinal skits, but Joe Biden's the first president you could punch assassin. <laughs> you, shouldn't be t- you shouldn't be talking about killing presidents. What about Joe Biden? Uh, I'll show you that stand up, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, Fox News dad, that's a good dad. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Fox For, News mom, uh, not a good mom. Samuel Jackson, 74. Uh, anything Scott. else more, Scott Pilgrim? Yeah. So. Yeah, explain what it is. Because I, I gave up and it was white noise after a while because I just was lost. So Brian Lee O'Malley just wanted to. Re- is it a continuation? No. A prequel? No. A different universe? Maybe a different multiverse? Explain it first to me because I so, was lost. Instead of Scott winning the first battle against the first evil X, he dies. And the next seven episodes follows the Ramona going to each of the Evil Exes. ladies. And um, trying to figure out where Scott went. Mm. At the end of the season, spoilers if anybody watches this. um, In the future, Scott is no longer with Ramona and they get divorced. He goes into... He moves back in with Wallace, his gay roommate, and then he works out a lot and then (laughs) he talks to one of the evil exes who he comes friends with who has a robot that knows time travel, so he travels back into the past and grabs Scott from the past and brings him into the future so there's Buff Scott in the future, and he brought not Buff, Buff, Buff Scott. Buff Ryu, um, Homeless Scott. Oh, so he's got like a beard and like... <laughs> homeless Ryu. Good. Best version for you, by the way. And then uh, all the evil exes and Ramona and then the band uh, all fight Scott at the end. Which Buff, Buff Scott? Scott? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then future Ramona comes and saves the day. And then, and then there's a little singer at the end, but um, so fucking weird, probably dude. not gonna get a season two because mm, that was never planned. I still don't. I just was like, what? So really, the the villain all along was um, Scott um, Ramona. No, uh, I can't remember her name. The lesbian? No, because I saw her singing. The Asian girl? No, knives? not knives. Hmm. I can't Aubrey remember. Plaza? Aubrey Plaza. Yeah, I can't remember her name. Why is she the villain? 
<laughs> because wait, is that the uh, that's, she, that's Scott? The, I forbid you for to date her. That's she, a coffee chick, right? Yeah, yeah she that's, starts. Uh, what's she her starts, name starts, from? Who said that? She starts. I dating don't. Get, when you say the name Aubrey Plaza, I have to like put a fucking face and a role to it. Okay, she starts dating. You can't Gideon. just be like Aubrey Plaza. Mm. Start dating who? Gideon. Is that he's the main villain? Of- G. Oh, he's the uh, yeah, the guy at the end with the sword. G man or whatever they yeah. call. Yeah. So why would she be the villain though? Because she Does hey, Chris Evans show up. Yes, yes. Okay. The, the, the whole, everybody the whole shows cast. up. Chris Evans. They're all voiced right by the same characters mm-hmm. too. Okay. That's why I was excited, but then I was like, I don't really... It's pretty funny. But I thought the it's same great. thing, though, what we're talking about adaptions, I was like... Adaptations. Adaptations. I was like, I don't know if I want to watch the same Zach movie. Because did you that, see... That's why he wanted to change it. So that's why I kind of get more... Plus, we have the video game. You can play it through the video game. Also, the did you see the Mean Girls musical trailer? Oh, the musical, yeah. It looks just like the movie. Is it's, it just the exact same movie? It's like the quotes are the exact same quotes. Oh well, yeah, it's based off the Broadway. So play. do we have to get a movie of it it's, with just the musical parts added in? It's the Broadway play. I didn't stay on Broadway. It's like the same exact movie. Nothing changes. I don't know. It blew my mind. And like, kinda, I don't care. We kind of got. Oh, I love mean fucking Mean Girls. We kind of got a Mean Girls two through Walmart. Those I com- know that was those really, commercials are really good. That was interesting that Lindsay Lohan came back, but uh, she's been doing pretty. Decent. I was about to say, how's she doing recently? How uh, she who, off the drugs? Who who didn't come back was uh, Gre- Regina George. No, she didn't. Yeah, she's yeah she she got hit by a uh, bus, guys. But, but the girl uh, Karen. Yeah, your mom's chest hair. She didn't come back. Oh no no, Jan C. Jan C. Yeah. Anyway, she she does big shows. Now. She's like a big actress now. The, the the gay guy came back. You know, he's free to do things. So, Yeah, he, he does stuff for, like, RuPaul and stuff, but mm. that's about it. So, the Marvels. Uh, an hour and 45 minutes long. If I didn't think hour and 45 minutes would actually bug me. That's a tight movie. It was very but, fast. But it was too fast of a movie. I didn't get to enjoy it as much as I thought I could. But it's still a good movie. It's not a bad movie. I don't know. I've heard different things from different people. I've uh, said it's a movie that I will watch over and over, like Ragnarok. What What is good? There, like I told Crystal, the bad thing was. Wait, you think it's as good as Ragnarok? I didn't say it was good as Ragnarok. Okay. I said I. <laughs> listen, I've had to be like, listen here, motherfucker! Feels, I didn't say it, it. It feels like it's gonna be a cult classic. But what does that even mean? How could a dis? How could a a Disney movie, let alone a fucking it's like Marvel a, movie, be a cult it's like a because le- it's like a less popular Marvel movie that people are gonna just bring Dude, on. That's and Eternals, watch. and that movie's garbage. No, I don't feel that with Eternals. Have Eternals, you seen Eternals? Yeah. Eternals has a little bit of following online. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it's probably really dumb following. Mar- <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe, in my genuine heart of hearts, There's that there- anybody truly likes that movie. That is a normal functioning person. I'm sorry, Ryan. There, I think you're lying to me when you say that movie is good. I think you're just you're just lying to me, my dude. There's <laughs> rumors they're working on number two right now. Are they gonna have sex pet classic sex pest Star Fox in it? They could, I mean, they, they could, would have to be historical honest, Eternals, sex pest. Eternals is a great idea. I don't think they they executed it well. There's also a rumor well. of Annihilator, so I could feel them uh, tying that into Yes, it. please. If I get Silver Surfer Sarah and Better Aid Bill and Though shit. It might not Nova? Be, it might it might be uh, Silver Surfer. Juno? There's a girl Silver Surfer in the Hercules. I universe. asked you that. What? I asked you, is there a is there precedent for a female Norin Rad? Well, well, we talked about the other heralds. Noreen Rad? Norina Rad? That I can't. I, I, I Silver Norn Sur- Rad is one of the best names. Yeah, hundred percent. Because he's on a he's fucking, Norn Rad. He's on a surfboard. He's fucking treading. Uh, I I really don't care. About I don't give the a Silver fuck if it's a girl or boy. I just want Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom. I don't. Care. I want a Doctor Doom solo film. I think it's the one Triumph Marvel Tor- villain Triumph you could. Triumph and Torment. I think it's a Mar- right. Doom That's is a Marvel villain. Movie. You could give him his own movie, I feel like. It'd oh, be yeah. a Doctor Strange, Doctor Doom movie. Why would it need to be that? Because he likes Triumph and Torment. It's it's a really good book. It's a good story. Okay. It's a standalone story. Okay. Mike, <laughs> Mike Mignola wrote and drew it, and they go to That's hell. That's Hellboy, to... Hellboy right, creator, yeah. right? Is that when he goes to hell, and then he tells his mom to go fuck herself? Well, they go to save her. But he doesn't and actually save her? like... 
freezes her and then Doctor I thought, Strange kills her. Oh, okay. I thought I thought the whole thing was there, Doom wanted to go see his mom to tell her how bad of a mom about, she was. Uh, a bunch of sorcerers get transported. They off the fight. Oh, it's like the Lazarus battle. To Whatever that fuck be that's the next called. Sorcerer Supreme. And Doom also gets transported there. So Strange is like, what the fuck? Mm. And then, yeah. His brother Voodoo in it, too? I don't think he was. Oh, okay. Interesting. It was an older. It's like 90s. 79, 80. Is it 80? Huh. Um, I didn't know Mike Magnolia was that old. Has I don't know. Have either of you been reading DC comics? I keep getting videos for this I, Lazarus tournament. Lazarus there was a Planet. Lazarus tournament in Robin. Lazarus yeah. Planet is... Or Island. Past. Okay. They're on um, Beast World now. Everybody's turning to Beast Boy. Is Batman still dead? Because wasn't he dead? And none of the Justice League were dead. They were teleported to some off-world. War world. And the Teen Titans had to like step up. I but I, I think currently in the DC Universe, the main... Can it... Justice League are stepping down so that the they're called they're the Titans now they're not oh. Teen Titans mm. so they're the main. Could Animal Man defeat Beast Boy? Doesn't Animal Man control animals? I feel like everybody's Beast Boy. Animal, Animal Man, Man is taps the guy you want. into the red, and I don't. Is know. the red the animal aspect of the green? I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not or like, part of the green. It's then it, why is it called the red? Is it not it, juxtaposed to the it's green? It's human and animal. So it is juxtaposed to the and green. It, there's They're the like yin and yang. Then, there's right? No, because there's the rot, too. It's red, green, and rot. Rot's not a color, though. No, it's not. Also, juxtaposed <laughs> means opposite. So, like... No, it's not. They're not opposite. They don't... All three of So them when the green to. was created... There was no red and no rot? Or they were all created at the they're, same time? They all have to be in balance. With so them. they're all juxtaposed to each other? The three of them, not the two. Oh, okay. okay. Well, well, the rot can go fuck itself. It's not a color, so... Pick, I don't know. Pick a color like brown or purple or black I, or some shit. He I plays magic, so he wants colors. I think Abigail Swamp. Arcane is the... The, the rot? To, the totem or the avatar. Of the rot? Who's um, Swamp Thing's girlfriend. Oh. Usually. Mm. And the Swamp Thing is the green. And, and, avatar, yeah. Uh, Animal Man is the Animal Man? Red. I, or Buana Don't Man? believe his. I think his daughter is the Avatar. Mm. Oh, I, Man. I haven't read that Dude. in a long time. I'm going back to the Marvels because we're going everywhere. Well, first, did you? Uh, I'm gonna take a piss. That's fine. You could take a while me and Ryan talk about. It. Did you uh, feel anything you didn't like about it though? Like I said, I didn't like the all the ladies, the rushed, the rushed feeling of it. Because I feel like like I was telling. Crystal, my wife, go, it went like boom, boom, boom. This happened, this happened, this happens, and it's over. There's no like time to get to know anybody really. But the girls' chemistry together was really good. Yeah. The fight scenes, there wasn't enough fight scenes, but the fight scenes we got were really fucking good too. I think the only thing I didn't care for was Darbin. Who? Darbin. Oh, the villain. Yeah, she, it just she didn't have no motive, and I didn't. Oh, her motive was to save Hala, so she had motive. It's just we didn't get no time with her. But it's just I don't feel maybe like maybe if we saw her in the first movie for a second, not just and she has the cosmic rod because that's yeah. what I was gonna say her real name. That's what Miss Marvel calls it. Is that what Ronin had? Yeah, same weapon. Well, the accusers use those. So is she a accuser? Technically. I mean, she doesn't look like she went through the same... Like, but what did she? What was her end goal? Did she want... She was trying to make Hala habit, habitable again. Because the planet, you cannot breathe on it, and they had no drinking water, and they had no sun. So the planet was dying. So... I don't know. I'd argue planets so are dead. They, they space. Wood. So she space balls and sucked the water from another planet. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I got the space ball vibe. I, I I was like, she's literally taking oxygen. From, you got a like, giant maid with a vacuum. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It sucks because you. It would have balanced out to be a lot better of a story. Um. But that's Marvel in a nutshell. They do that with villains so many. Like, yeah, Doc- there's only like maybe three villains that I really care for. In Doctor Strange, Mad Mac Mickelson, where the fuck Mads he was. Mickelson. 
um, where the fuck his name is. He he's, he's probably should have played Doom. He's rumored to possibly play Doom. I thought the Along biggest with, one's um, Killian Murphy or whatever. Yeah, him so too. Murphy, whatever his name is. Killian. Wait, they're going to get fucking Peaky Blinders to play him? Is that what he goes by? <laughs> that's the... Scarecrow. That's the I show he's in, but yeah. I call him Scarecrow. Um, For me, it's Scott... You got to have a presence with Doom. Because you're not... You're acting with your eyes and shit. Like, it's hard because you can't use your emotions. Yeah, but you could put anybody under the fucking thing and put a voiceover. Yeah, but it doesn't mean... It, it, but that's the Is the Doom acting. supposed to be big? Do you imagine Doom's like six foot nine or some shit? No. He's he's average. How must, tall is Doctor Doom? He's tall. But my thing is, uh, it's hard to act like Deadpool without using your face expressions and stuff. Like someone really has to bring it out. Like as Darth Vader is a hard. I disagree. I feel like Deadpool is a character you can do a lot more with dialogue than you can with some other characters. Sure, quips uh, and like you can. Deadpool's a lot more emotive than Doom. Doom is like. Okay, let's say Darth Vader. Darth Vader, oh. someone has to have a decent voice and like the way you do things just has to. Uh, like it's hard with. Have Green, you watched those old Green, Star Wars movies? Yeah. He Darth Vader's not that physically imposing in the original. He's only physically imposing in Rogue One or in the comics. Yeah, I I, I would never be afraid of Doctor Darth Dr. Vader. Doom. But, yeah, in the comics you would. Uh, Doom is six foot two inches. Oh, interesting. Um, but yeah, so watching it though, I don't get all the hate for the movie. It's because it's three female women, girls, and then it's the first female black director. Uh, there was no real bad. The the singing scene, I was really cringed, worried, but it wasn't Straight that long. from the comics. It wasn't, and that's what's funny is people want if something's driven the comics, the comics. that makes it inherently good. No, but I okay. I like the easter egg of it no oh, okay being pulled from the comic but my thing was i thought it was gonna be really bad and it's literally like five. i expected more from it yeah that's what i thought I, it was I only think, like five minutes like for the scene i think the prince is a is he a k-pop star i think so he's like so super I, famous i expected him to like i could see them cutting out a lot of that scene because it wasn't you're that supposed important. to move. I, I like yeah. them. I like Monica dancing in the background mm. at one point. Yeah. Or when they first get to the planet and she goes, hey, little child. And I'm like, oh, that's that's like how I act around kids. Mm. <laughs> Hello, child. Uh, their, the boy. Their dynamic she, was fucking phenomenal. The the um, intergalactic cuts or that montage where they're trying to learn how to oh, people hate, sink. People hate that part. because they're What? Because what they're, are you they're jump roping, they're throwing a ball. It's yeah, because of dope. course women can't throw balls, right? That like destroys my suspension of disbelief. A well, woman because they throwing think something, <laughs> but it's the point. Nah. I, that's just <clears throat> fucking stupid. It's because uh, that's the point. But as I'm being pun- paradise. I, I know, but I'm okay. saying I'm trying to explain why <clears throat> why they're doing it. It's because they they're blinking when they use each other's powers. Yeah, so they're practicing. When they use their power, how they could pick up and like be ready for the next thing. Mm. So they're all throwing each other balls at the same time, and they're trying to blink and catch it. They're jump roping, and once one jumps, the other one yeah. switches, <laughs> and the other one's in the middle. So they're trying to figure out, okay, we need to know how to time. And why did you say intergalactic? Because they're playing the intergalactic plays. during that montage. DC Boys music plays in the first trailer. I yeah. didn't... You never knew that it was on the trailer. How dare they ruin the Beastie Boys? No, and it was great. It was kind of a nod if you notice that it says, "Don't you tell me to smile when it shows." Oh yeah, that's the big thing of the Brie first Larson's movie. Is, face. Don't you tell me to smile? You play stick around, I make it worth your while. Like on your part, what you can the tell me because so versatile style. First fight I scene said. was how crazy funny. good. Yeah, it was Monica funny. kicks ass. Who's the strongest? Captain Marvel. Okay. Uh, I think Captain Marvel. When are we gonna get Marvel? He's she's dead. Oh, that's right. They made the fucking Supreme Intelligence Marvel. Although we're getting her back in What If season two. Yeah, people hated What If. I heard, and that's blasphemy to me because What If was really good. Season two looks really interesting. There are episodes that aren't. As there, good there's as a, other episodes, of course. Yeah, a, but that's like that's the Star Wars visions or whatever. But Did you watch that season two? I gave I up on. I gave, watched like three or four episodes, and I was like, they kind of like ran through the best ideas in the early, mm. in the first season. And there's like there's like 
three or four good episodes in that first season. The rest are kind of garbage. Actually, did I finish them? The stupid Astro Robot sucks. The brother and sister Sith sucks. Um, the coolest ones I remember being are the... There's one where it follows... A, oh, no. That was a different Samurai series. one I liked, which is the first one. Then there's the one where the two guys fight the Sith, which I think is like the fourth one? I don't remember. Me neither. Star Wars sucks. Who cares? There was one series where it follows Count Dooku. That one was fun. The one that rhymes with poo-poo? Yeah. You see they're already hating on Agatha? Who? Just everybody on... Yeah, because people on the internet hate fucking women. Any any comic book board, forum, post, anything I'm on. I'm on a million different pages. nerds on the internet I haven't seen that yet, but I'm not surprised. It's like... Hey guys, we have a sneak peek and it's like laugh emojis, laugh emojis, laugh emojis, and it's like, okay, all right. Because, I, Ernie, nerds on the internet hate women. Hate women. And well, that shows I'm not even, very I'm not even joking. I'm being fucking. What's very female dri- Oh, yeah, the whole cast is almost females. There's, and there's going to be a gay guy, right? Oh, Wiccan, yeah. But it's not going to, the boy's not going to be in it. It's, it's going to be his body gets transferred into someone else's body. Yeah, that's what happens in the comics. Right. After I was explaining they, they stuff died. that I already, I guess, was out there. When Mephisto or whatever his name sucks him back into his hands, and then uh, Wanda's kids are gone, and then years later, when Young Avengers comes, then they're like, "Who's this boy?" And they're like, "I think Scarlet Witch is your mom." And then, mm. uh, anyways, Marvels, what do you think? <laughs> One out of ten. Anyways. One out of ten. Yeah, because of women. I'd give it an eight. That's that's bold cotton. That's a bold move, cotton. I'd give it like a six point five. Just because I'll stick with my eight. But, I haven't seen it, so I can't give it a grade. But but like an eight's up there though, like way up there. I plan to buy the still book. It just sucks because I feel like they could have done a lot more with this group, and they were really good in the movie. I, I think the only thing I want more from it, wish Valkyrie would have had. Some Valkyrie more. scene was really small too. That was odd. Well, they cut some of that too, because Valkyrie and her were so. The, I guess there was a scene during that where they, one of them mentions that they're better off being friends. Oh, so they cut that out. And so then, they did Captain Marvel and her dated. Yeah. Oh. And then we get Beast at the end. What else got... Uh, Beast uh, alone would make me say it's an 8 out of 10. Yes. With that scene added. I'm Kelsey g- Grimmer. And he looks phenomenal. Okay. Some people don't like how he looks. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? Is he want? Cat Beast? No. He's, he's 90s he's Beast. He's animated series in a fucking lab coat Beast. Do they have the, the pictures on the internet? Can't look well, you can sure watch... You can you could, on YouTube, they have the end credit scene. And he mentions Xavier wants her to be checked on. It's like happening. Mom. Who? I'm not your mom. Yeah, that's a very odd situation that we've seen that girl. I don't know. What's her name? The actress? Do you know? Um, I don't remember. I've seen her in a lot of movies. We've seen though. her in three different roles in the Marvel Universe so far. So it's kind of weird. I mean, she's playing it's, the same character every time. She's binary, though, but which she's is kind of different. Maria, Maria, and Maria. Non- her superhero name is Binary. <laughs> oh, I thought it'd be like, Ernie, I thought we went fucking over this shit. Non-binary. No. Anyways, with that... Who's Binary? So... Miss Marvel is... She turned... Right. Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel... Or becomes Binary, right? Miss Marvel the one. became Binary in the X-Men comics. I thought... Isn't Binary the flamey one? Yeah. And isn't that Captain Marvel? I, what? <laughs> I thought Captain Marvel's when it becomes binary. It's when it becomes all flamey, right? Well, her name was Miss Marvel before Captain Marvel. Not in the MCU. Oh, yeah, you're right. The one with the yellow. Like when she wore the black suit with the yellow yeah. S. Okay. Yeah, That's yeah. Carol. That's yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Now she's Captain Marvel, right? Because she's got the mohawk and the. That's what Kamala's. Blue and gold suit. Kamala's kind of paying homage, I guess. To homage. The f- to the first suit, I guess, with the. Little so now Kamala's. Did you see the Biden. when when they get their magical new suits? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Rips her wings 
off Nuh-uh. that were in her original costume. It's kind of funny to me that uh, they got their own costumes. Like they're a little bit different, but but the guy just had the material there and made they designed them. I think it was just magically Guys. given it given to him. Them. It sounds like almost. Wait, like she's her mom. Is that who that other black that, woman is? Yeah, remember her mom. I know, but but her mom's binary in this one. Damn, you watching a fast forward? I watch everything on two times speed now. Damn, what a rapper! It's a real fucking problem, actually. Uh, but anyways, yeah. With the B scene, makes me jump to eight. And then they got Kamala recruiting young Avengers. Mm-hmm. He looks all right. He's not hunched over or anything, so... Beast doesn't ain't hunch over. Go put on the anime series right now. On I mean, he's Plus. not, like, hunchback, but he... He, like, is a... He's he kind of walks like with a little bit of a... Yeah, all I remember is him, like... The couple comics I've seen... Maybe I'm just thinking I mean, sometimes beast. he walks with his hands. Yeah, but I usually... Usually when he's... He's, like, writing like this. He's not, like... Yes, I got to talk to Xavier about this. I don't know. Um, so you want straight adaptation, like exactly? No, comic book panel. It's not. It's fine. He just needs to. So I'm just throwing it. Out. I know. Boom. I was deflecting it. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying right now before with the Kamala and um, Hawkeye? You were saying something. I know, but you're about to answer. I thought something. Oh, I was just saying. I think I was just saying. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I don't want a Young Avengers. I want us to focus on other things. Like, uh... Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. We're getting Thunderbolts. Supposedly. Are we getting really Red Hulk? Yes. Are yeah. we getting Red She-Hulk? No. Um, that's, that's, that's what's her name, right? Because she's in the movie. That's what's her name. She's that's been on the Ross's side. daughter, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Do, how does she... At the same time as him? Or is this like a whole different thing? I just... I never read... Those I'm stories. Pretty so sure. I, don't, I know they're all chasing out. I think she turns into Red She Hulk during that. Mm. But I don't know. Sexier why. than Green She Hulk. I just want to be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And that got rumored to be second season. A lot of men are going to hate that. And then. Uh, Holy fucking lady. Moon Knight. Moon Knight 2 also. Are we going to finally get the third personality? <laughs> <laughs> finally. The cold one. Give me the fucking. Tra- traditional suit, please. I beg you. All you think I want someone would just be in cloth. Yes, I want the hint. I want the suit in the comic books. That's just like he's not wearing like body armor. He's not like fucking doing all this crazy shit. It's just like a dude in I like spandex. F- I feel like what they gave us is. I like it. I like both of the, the costume. The whole guy. We have to get a third costume, and we're not just gonna get another Egyptian raps costume. It'd be like a taxi driver costume or something. A cabbie, like him, just have a hat on with a mask on. Just, Way off to bud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your Uber driver. Hey, get in. I'm walking here. I'm fucking fighting crime here. Get in here. So it's Mark Spector, right? It's oh, dude, I haven't seen that fucking. I gotta rewatch that show. It's Mark Spector. What's his name? The St- Stephen. Uh, Mar- yes. Yeah. Stephen. What though? I can't remember. And then the last personality we didn't get a name for. Um. Because that's um. That's the taxi driver personality, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's driving the limo at the end. I do kind of hate. I like Stephen. I like the the. I like his costume. That's my favorite. The suit, uh, Moon Knight's my favorite. Moon Knight. My problem is we'll just never get the him being a badass. Never get him rolling his sleeves up and kicking the shit out of people because he'll always be a little. It seemed like he was getting a little. Cooler. Yeah, but he's not like. I I also think it would be wrong to make maybe him they'll, like maybe cooler. They'll jump between each other's costumes mm. or something. We'll see. Are you in um, my costume? I'm in your costume. I mean, what? that's like my favorite. That's my favorite. Like, I don't know if you'd consider that like a singular comic or a panel. But it's, make a Reese's it's the him, the him going up the abandoned building and just like. Well, it's got the back shot of him holding both batons in his mm-hmm. hand. Too. Him throwing it, Looking throwing the there. moon up, and like hitting somebody through the mouth and shit. Very uh, not like talking. A John Wick. Uh, fighting scene that I could see that being done. Also, the last John Wick movie? F- 
fucking sucks. Does it? Yeah, dude. I thought that movie I, fucking blew. I'll have dude. to watch it. Ah, uh, yeah. It sucks. <laughs> How was Rina Sawayama? She is what's his Donnie Yen's daughter? The Asian girl. Yeah. There's two Asian girls. <laughs> There's the blind guy, the blind swordsman. I can't remember his name. Is that Donnie Yen? No. No. Who the? Why can't I remember the fucking? It's the guy in Bullet Train. The older, the older gentleman. Yeah, what's his name? I can't remember his name. He's very, very. But good he's actor. in that movie at one point, and then he fights the other guy. That I, I th- <sighs> Rina Sam- Sayawama is um, British. Who? Rina Sawayama. Yeah, but she was, I think, the daughter of the, the Japanese owner of. That was just asking Continental. How, how is she? Um, she's whatever. She barely shows up in it. Bill Skarsgård's in it. S- yeah. Uh, John her. Wick 4, right? So I'd like her to play Psylocke. Donnie Yen. Yeah, it is Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen's the blind swordsman, though. Because yeah. she's um, Asian and British. Oh, wow. That'd be amazing if they did that. But um, she's also a pop star, so I don't know how her schedule would work with... Maybe is Psylocke that. British? I know that the per- the person that inhabits Psylocke's body, which is... Uh, Captain Britain's daughter? Sister. sister. Twin sister. Okay. Um, uh, She's not as good because she doesn't have a beard, but that's okay. Betsy is... Betsy Braddock. British. Mm. And she possesses Psylocke's body, who is Asian. Yes. Or from, from that weird... Quanon. What? Wait, what? Quanon. That's such, the Asian girl. Such I know, but what's what? What's the name of the fucking place? Ma- Mandapur? Or Ma- Madripoor? Madripoor. She's, Madripoor? That's what she's from or whatever? Or is she specifically uh, Japanese? I don't know if she's from Madripoor, but... Okay. But okay, interesting. I would still rather see Captain Britain before any of that, but... Women power. Time before to, what? Before, like, Psylocke. Before, before Betsy. I... Kind he of. just likes Captain. I'd like Captain. Well, and he wants Henry Cavill. I, I, think, I we'll, like. I think we'll get Henry Cavill. Cavill. I think we'll get Captain Britain. Or give me um. What's his Captain name? Captain Britain's time you want. Not Sean Bean. Yeah. Oh my god. I'll remember it when I get home and just text you. Be like this guy. Because then with Captain Britain you get Excalibur. We get Otherworld. You get Arthurian legend stuff. Maybe, Mer- maybe he shows it up at the end Morgan of... Uh, it unlocks Yeah, maybe Morgan Le Fay shows at the end of fucking Agnes or whatever. Agatha, I don't know She what could be. I mean, she was already in the Runaway show, so... Mm. Was she a witch? Yeah. Yes. She's the witch. Uh, Elizabeth Hurley played her. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot about that. When did he get Ghost Rider? Supposedly, he was supposed to get his own spinoff, I thought. I kind of want a Ghost Riders movie. Does that yeah. make any sense? I want like, like the Native should... American chick, the Blaze, uh, Robbie Reyes, Blaze, Cash. I feel like they should skip Johnny and just go to Danny. No, I think they should. If they're going to do that, I think they should still acknowledge that Johnny existed at some point. Yeah. I like the idea that this well, is a man that I mean, gets I, passed I, on, right? Danny That's like had to go to him a lot as a mentor. I like the. I also the, just really like the aesthetic of the Native American chick. She looks cool and she's goes yeah. right to Oh, yeah, and she's a uh, past uh, Sorcerer Supreme, so. They just let anybody be Sorcerer Supreme nowadays. Well, she's from the past. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm just joking. They just let Dr. Doom be fucking Sorcerer Supreme. He tried. Scientist he tried. Supreme. I mean, do, or... Oh, I was, Lo- like, who, I was thinking, was. who won that? It was Brother, Brother Voodoo. Yeah. And he still talks to his brother Jericho? No. <laughs> I can't remember. Really. At the end of... No, uh, honey, no. Then this is second new Avengers run. They all f- fight Jericho. Mm. Or not Jericho. His brother. Sorry, when you say Jericho, I just think of Deathstroke's son. What's, what's the girl? Break the there's, walls down. There's a girl the with the, um, the black hair and the red streak. She wore glasses. She was in an episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh! oh. She gets possessed. <laughs> she was like uh, Hammer's. Um, Hammer, Norman Osborn, Dark Avengers. It was his assistant. assistant. Can't remember her name. But yes, I know I know you're talking about. That was well, all in that. I want Will Dark Angela Avengers show up in Agatha? Angela? I don't Thor's think Thor's I don't think they'll touch sister. Her. Isn't she the fucking witch hunter or whatever? And Oh, you're talking about <laughs> Elsa. I, Elsa Bloodstone? No, the fucking there's a f- 
fucking Heroclix figure of a chick that's fucking Angel, Angel of the Witch Hunter or whatever. Oh, that that was a um, was that like a, a one off thing? That was a Secret Wars oh. Battle World. Oh. Oh. oh, so it was Angela though from Thor. But yeah, she's a witch hunter. It's a, it's Thor's sister. They they made Hela Thor's sister oh. in the movies though, so they took all of Angela's mm. thing away. Yeah, Angela's rough because Angela's from Spawn. So I don't know if they wanted to. It's a good like, movie and stuff, huh? So that's a good movie. Let's bring stuff. Spawn over. A good movie and stuff. It's a Britney Spears quote. Oh, oh yeah, Spawn. Yeah, I remember that. I want to see that. I don't like Spawn's boot. I don't care about his Spawn one at foot. All. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. Look up Spawn. Look at his legs. Why do I care about Spawn? Just legs? look at it because it pisses is, me off. Is it a certain drawing or certain art? It's the did? original fucking McFarlane art. He decided to design Spawn with the stupidest fucking shoe ever. I believe it. And only one of them. Nothing came up with Spawn's leg. Just look at Spawn, dude. Oh, okay. Click on images. And it's the first design for him? Yeah, it's. Yeah, not that one. Where the fuck is it? I don't I don't know. He wears a fucking boot, man. I've never heard of such a thing. Well, while we keep looking, we will wrap it up. We will be back next month. Thank you if you did watch and you listen. I'll probably clip some of this and put it on TikTok. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> that's not that's not uh, deviant art or something. No. Like someone make that. That's literally. I've never seen that before. Either. I know. I'm. Th- I keep thinking of uh, Rob Layfield drawing oh, like yeah, little. God. Spawn always has those little like yeah wildcats. Here's feet. the fucking version of him in Mortal Kombat. Ooh. Jim Lee. Look at yeah, his stupid boot. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, yeah, that's horrible. But like, subscribe, share. Share. Thank you. Stick it up your asshole. Shove, nope. it, shove it up your nose. Nope. Don't listen to What? Them. What? People aren't allowed to stick things up their butt? Jeez. Are you, we didn't even talk about Madam dict- Web. I don't care. I watched that trailer and I said, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. I couldn't care less. But we make these... these. But her mom we knew a these. guy in the forest before she died. We make these podcasts to talk about these things, though. To not understand what the fuck is going on in the Madam Web trailer? She, like, fucking warps around? Well, let's hope by the next video we'll get another trailer. If not, we will talk about it. Because we do have to talk about her mom in the Amazon. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we're done. (laughs) Oh, wait, doesn't a Craven movie come out before that, too? No one cares. Say it's a podcast. <laughs> That's a Craven film from 2024. I can't wait. <laughs> I can. I can wait. Where's my Bad Bunny fucking El Diablo or whatever? They're that canceled. canceled. Thank Christ. All right. Do we all... Does everybody know that Bad Bunny can't can speak English? No. He, like, can't it's, speak it's English. It's, like, very broken. It's are, are really you, broken. Are you ending it? Did you end it? That's a podcast? Okay. I mean...